This is Literal Combat Ship LLCS. Here is why it exists. The newest warship in the U.S. Navy is the Freedom and Independence variant of the Littoral Combat Ship, a fast, nimble, and focused mission vehicle intended for deployment in nearshore situations, but capable of open, ocean operation. Mines, stealth, diesel submarines, and quick surface craft are examples of asymmetric anti-access threats that it is made to combat. Two industry teams planned and manufactured the two varieties of the LC's class, the Freedom variant and the Independence variant. Lockheed Martin is the team's captain for the Freedom version, for the odd-numbered hulls EGLX-1, Bath Iron Works LX-1, Bath Iron Works LX-2 and LX-4, and Austal Yusa, along with General Dynamics, are leading the Independence variant team for the subsequent even-numbered hulls. The Lice CC frames will be equipped with quickly interchangeable reconfigurable payloads called mission modules, which are made up of mission systems and support equipment. In order to deploy manned and unmanned vehicles and sensors in support of mine countermeasures, anti-submarine warfare, or surface warfare tasks, these modules work in conjunction with crew detachments and aircraft assets to create entire mission packages. Compared to any other ship class, the LC's program, which was launched in February 2002, significantly reduces the amount of time needed to acquire, design, and construct ships. Bus Freedom, LC-1, was built by Lockheed Martin and Marinette, Wisconsin's Marinette Marine Corporation shipyard, and it was handed over to the Navy on September 18, 2008. General Dynamics constructed us Independence, Elks II. The Navy received Bath Iron Works on December 18, 2009, which was completed at the Ossal Yusa shipyard in Mobile, Alabama. Additionally, US Fort Worth, which was commissioned in September 2012, was built and delivered by Lockheed Martin and LC-4 was built and delivered by General Dynamics, the future U.S. Coronado, which delivered SEP. 27, 2013, a highly successful competition and strong industry reaction were the results of the Navy's Lakesy Esco Wee's acquisition strategy to downpick to a single design in 2010, which led to significant savings in the Lacey's program. These competitive bids provided an opportunity to award both bidders a fixed price. 10 ship block buy for a total of $1 billion built these competitive bids along with the Navy's need to enhance ship acquisition rates to satisfy operational requirements on December 29, 2010. Contracts were given to Lockheed Martin and Austal Yusa for the building of up to 10 ships each by 2010, by 2015, starting with LOX 5 and Lee 6. The Navy chose to deploy us freedom. Hulks 1, almost two years early in order to highlight operational concerns, gather data in actual operational circumstances, and guide the overall SE's fleet integration strategy. The ship moved to the 4th Fleet in the U.S., Southern Command's domain on February 16, 2010. Freedom successfully carried out four narcotic seizures during this operation, collecting more than five tons of cocaine, apprehended nine suspected drug traffickers, and rendered two go fast, trafficking vessels inoperable. Thus, Freedom took part in the Rim of the Pacific as well. During this initial deployment, RIMPOC, exercise, the U.S. Freedom made its first LC's overseas deployment on March 1st, crossing the Pacific and operating out of Singapore for eight months in Southeast Asia. The LC's platform's first rotational deployment to the Western Pacific, Freedom is carrying out maritime security operations alongside regional partners and allies. The Navy will be able to assess crew rotation and maintenance schedules for the whole SEATS class, as well as Freedom's operational capabilities throughout this deployment. 